goddamn, what's going on, fellas? Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy, and we're back playing some more of Marvel Future Fight. For this one, we're going to be having a little bit of fun using my Arachnite. We're going to build him up a little bit and take him into Shadowland and test out his DPS on some high-level floors. And in case you guys are wondering, man, we're still grinding for him slowly. I'm actually on my ninth week of doing his heroic quest. You can see for yourself right here, I have to wait another 23 hours before I can do week 10. So yes, I have actually started this thing three times. I told you guys we're not using any rank up tickets on him and I want to see how long it's going to take me to complete the character i think this is going to be the last time that i actually have to do the heroic quest for him because as of right now you can see for yourself i have 680 biometrics for him and after we get him to six stars we'll have about 360 left over so we can start working on his gears if i get really lucky that will be all i need to get his gears to 20 and since i have another three weeks of the heroic quest for him i could potentially get enough biometrics so that i can tier two him without needing an actual tier two ticket and if that's the case that would mean that he only cost me 2250 crystals as opposed to those of you guys who actually use that six star mega rank up ticket on him and then use that tier two ticket on him as well if that's the case y'all spent like double what i'm probably going to spend on my arachnite so this is why i chose to redo the heroic quest for him multiple times because even though it's much slower it's going to take me three months as opposed to you guys who only took one month i'm saving like two thousand crystals so yeah anyways we're gonna rank him up and then we're gonna have some fun with them boys so let's go ahead and get this thing started so since this guy is not really that much of a meta character i really don't see any need to rush him so if you guys are starting this thing right now take my word for it okay just take your time do the thing three times and you're gonna save a ton of crystals you don't need to be in a rush because honestly he's not better than spider-man i thought we would have enough there whatever it doesn't matter i was trying to save some there we go i was trying to save some chips but it is what it is whatever all right so let's actually see if 360 biometrics is enough to get his gears to 20. if that's the case i'll be really really happy rng i need you to smile on me on this day I probably should not have asked RNG for his blessing because, yeah, that usually means I'm going to get royally screwed. <laughs> but let's see how it goes, man. We'll do one more here. Woo! Wow. Okay. I was going to switch gears, but let's see how this goes. Watch it be times two. Woo! 16 is not bad. 16 is not bad. 16 is not bad. So, hold up. How many? bias do we have left we got 284 okay this is looking very very promising very very promising hopefully i didn't jinx myself by saying that if we complete the gears today it means that we will only be spending 2250 for him which is still a lot of ooh. ouch ouch that hurt that hurt we're gonna switch gears a little bit here so yeah 2250 is still a lot of crystals but it's definitely cheaper than the alternative because a mega rack up ticket in itself is 2600 so just by using that on this guy you're already spending over 3000 all right so not looking good here not looking good at all let's switch gears again We have 201 left. Okay. Come on. Keep it nice and low. Keep it nice and low. Keep it nice and low. 11 isn't terrible. If we can keep them under 15. Oof. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay. So, we have... Oh, my goodness. Yeah. We can't complete it today. I don't think so. I don't think so at all. It's unfortunate. It's really unfortunate. 16. Okay. Okay. So it looks like, yeah, we'll only have enough to complete 
this first gear right here wow wow <laughs> well then anyways we don't have enough to complete that gear but it looks like when i complete week 10 for sure i should ideally be able to complete all his gears and then if i get enough biometrics from the remaining two weeks i should be good so that's what his stats is looking like right now we got 121 for attack speed we got ooh, some really pitiful crit rate here 46 percent and we got 169 for crit damage that's pretty low as well and we got ignore defense at 47 there was really hoping that his cooldown would have been maxed out that's why i maxed out this that right here first that kind of sucked and we don't have an obelisk i'm thinking about giving him this one right here immunity to guard break with dodge and a 140 proc right even though the a lot of his skills are iframes let me actually max this out before i forget okay I'll show you guys why I want to give him immunity to guard break. So if you take a look at his skills really quickly, you notice he has a lot of iframes. So characters that have a lot of iframes generally don't need immunity to guard break, right? Even his fifth skill, which is the most powerful skill, he moves around quite a lot, right? But this skill right here, you'll notice that it actually applies an all defense down to the enemy, right? but in most cases people would tell you only go like three cancel into five to trigger your damage block and that's really good but when you throw out the nunchuck and you don't actually hit the enemies you don't get that all defense down right so that's the reason why i want to put immunity to guard break on him because this skill right here any character that has immunity to guard break will just immediately break out of this thing they can't be stun locked and then they'll just body him so like if you use this skill in world boss ultimate the world boss is just gonna slap you straight in your face and potentially kill you right so that's why i want to get guard break immunity so that this skill doesn't get guard broken so i'm gonna put that on him ideally though you should give him as much crit rate as possible and the dodge is going to be really good for him because he gets some guaranteed dodge and he's a speed character right so i'm going to go with this for right now and see how it works out let's see how much dodge we have with that applied 53 percent. that's good that's going to help with his survivability because he has the native heal all right let's jump into shadowland with him really quickly and test him out we're gonna test him on an entry mode right here. Actually, we'll test him on all three entry modes right here. See how he does. We'll start off with this one since this is probably the easiest one because this one right here with Volstag, they will reflect physical or at the very least, Volstag will reflect physical damage back at him and he's a physical character. And then we have this one right here with the mutants where Cyclops will hit him while he's in iframes. So these two are pretty taxing on him. We'll try this one out first and see if he actually has the DPS right now at tier 1. Because even my tier 2 Moon Knight... Actually, I'll show you guys. You know what? Let's do a comparison between him and Moon Knight. Because even my tier 2 Moon Knight struggles on like floor 20. I'll show you guys what my Moon Knight setup is. He's at tier 2, right? This is what his stats look like. Let me actually take Arachnite out of the team so there's no team up bonus. Take a look at my Moon Knight stats, okay? He has some pretty decent stats and urus and everything but moon knight's damage is actually pretty freaking low so on this stage right here moon knight will struggle and i'll show you guys exactly what i mean right now i didn't mean to make this a comparison between him and moon knight but it's very fitting because they're basically the same character right all right let's see if this guy can actually clear this thing i seriously doubt he'll have enough dps and he might not even stay alive, to be honest. Because I don't have invincibility. So this guy might just drop dead on me. Alright, so we got rid of Hawkeye. That's good. 
but in truth we really need to get rid of iron man that's who we needed to get rid of really wow i stunned iron man and then he stunned me or someone stunned me i don't know what the hell just happened yeah bro y'all see what i mean right bro moon knight's damage is just pathetic bro freaking pathetic bro he stayed alive barely but his damage is just disgusting bro can't believe that once upon a time this guy was the best in the combat class can you believe it like his uniform is still at normal and that's just because his damage is not gonna get that big of a bump from me ranking it up take a look at the stats once again like he's not that underbuilt right but he still couldn't even complete that like seriously that's disgusting anyways let's actually get back to the matter at hand let's actually test out a rack knight <laughs> okay let's see if he can out dps a tier 2 moon knight all right so i think i'm gonna go three five and then maybe two one four we'll see i'm gonna play around with the rotation so we're gonna open with the three get that all defense on them and then shred him see if he can do better than his daddy even though he's not his daddy he's himself but you know what i mean yo yo y'all seeing this we got a tier one arachnite right a tier one arachnite like cutting through these guys like paper that's crazy that is crazy right tier 2 moon that was struggling to stay alive and he ended up running out of freaking time and a tier one incomplete arachnite just out dps him <laughs> that's freaking crazy man let's see how he does here against volstag hmm you know what let's try him against this one first let's try him against this one first i feel like this is the real test to be honest because the iframes is what he relies on the most and when that gets taken away from him and he gets stunned i want to see if he stays alive all right cyclops do your worst i want to see if he has enough hp and defenses to survive being constantly stunned by cyclops Especially since he's a speed character, I really want to see. Ideally, you shouldn't be letting enemies hit you on purpose with any character, but more so with a speed character. But because he has the healing, I want to see what his defense is. Oh, he actually held up pretty nicely. Wow. I thought he would have been long since dead, to be honest with you guys. Especially since I'm playing him like crab right now but can he complete this it's definitely taking him longer to complete this because we had two characters with damage immunity and he kept getting stunned by cyclops but yeah it looks like he can definitely do this wow not bad bring moon knight in here and he gets completely destroyed bring a tier one <laughs> erect knight and he actually completes it wow Let's see if he can hold up against Volstag reflecting his damage back at him and a ton of summons being on the map. Let's see how it goes. Now, in most cases, you should just cancel the three into the five like I'm about to do right here. And just keep them completely webbed up and stunned and stuff. But I want to apply that all defense down and see how fast we can do this thing also this skill just looks really cool way too cool of a skill to be canceling right that's the thing that's another thing why i want guard break immunity on him like i had a crit rate 200 percent damage proc obelisk but yeah to have this skill get canceled all the time would just really annoy me because we're losing the all defense and the skill just looks really cool like honestly i think it's one of the coolest looking skills in this kit the five looks pretty cool too but the three just looks awesome i 
I wish he had enough recovery to just go right back to full health. Maybe I should give him some HP Urus. What do you guys think? HP Urus and just make him super defensive? Or just give him max crit and max crit damage? Well, crit rate and crit damage, I meant. Odin's still alive over there? Hey, old man. Okay, never mind. I was going to say he's holding up pretty well, but nah, he died. <laughs> Shout out to Odin, man. Nobody shows him any love anymore. Goddamn. So we completed this thing in a minute 25. Still have a lot more work that we can do to make this guy significantly stronger. But it's all right. I'm pretty happy with him right now at tier 1. And I can only see him getting better. Like the fact that he's already better than my tier 2 Moon Knight is actually pretty sad. Considering if you take a look at his build, there's a lot more I can do here. Whereas for Moon Knight, it's much better. Like yeah, he has a uniform. But I don't think the uniform is going to make him any better than Arachnite. Anyways guys, we're going to wrap this thing up right here man. Unfortunately, the gears are not done so he's not ready ready for tier two but he's getting pretty damn close hopefully next time i check in with you guys arachnite will definitely be ready for his tier two hopefully hopefully all things going well we'll see how it goes thanks for watching though peace